Previously on Unwinding Roads. The crew from Sunshine Coast met up with Dirty and Dangerous to conquer the Whipsaw. We navigated our rigs through slick snow melt, which added an extra element to this already difficult, iconic trail. In this episode, we check out what made this trail one of Canada's best, as we face the obstacles of the whipsaw. We were greeted with this small rock climb as a warm up. Pretty straightforward, slow and steady, up and over. Next up, the infamous Finn's Obstacle. It gets its name from the tall, narrow, fin-shaped rocks that are extremely difficult to navigate. These guys are nuts. This thing's like as high as my shoulders, as you can see, and they're just crawling up. It's wild. Uh, yeah, but your shoulders are kind of lower than everybody else. My shoulders are about, <laughs> about three feet off the ground. <laughs> your turn. No, I'm not doing it. Driver a little bit, John. Yeah. Just over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, just that's awesome. That was back there.
got something heavy. This tire hadn't slipped off. You would have made it up if that oh. didn't slip. That was so close. It was. Yeah. You were there. You should have seen it from my angle. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daddy, you, you're going to make it. Yeah. You're going to make it. I want me to pull I don't want to hear that we're, we're avoiding, right? <laughs> <laughs> this one, I originally wanted to sit out, but Paul made it look easy, and I drive Paul's previously owned Jeep, so pressure's on. Sean with his near perfect tire placement slipped off on the last second, which left him hanging. Driving a manual transmission, I had my work cut out for me. With Paul and Jason keeping a watchful eye and my selective hearing, I knew I had a good shot at getting through it. Pay attention to what was said and what I heard. Your wheels are to your passenger, you want to basically have them straight, you want to go right for that tree. See that tree? Yeah. You want it right in the middle of your hood there. Yeah, so basically turn the wheels straight. There you go. And then when you get up on top of this rock, like you think you're about to hit the tree, then you turn, turn around. Edited to hear what I heard. Basically have them straight, you want to go right for that tree. See that tree? Yeah. You want it right in the middle of your hood there. You get up on top of this rock to hit the tree. Who put that there? My allergies! Okay, realign, try again. That clutch is hard, eh, when you're doing this kind of stuff? Yeah, it's not too bad. There you go, there you go. I do it. Yep, straighten out, you got it. Yep, so now just right up. Yeah, buddy! How much damage did I get? A lot! Sick! The next major obstacle is Memorial Rock, a 45 degree rock face. Just have to get that perfect amount of speed. Second gear, four low, blockers, send it. Like, this trail, you have to be on the ball. You get these short little breaks of, of obstacles and uh, you know, you're kind of driving along and then boom, you get hit with another obstacle or another uphill climb or something. Gives you these little rewards every 10, 15 minutes or so. The step, a 90 degree ledge. I gave Sean a bad line to take, making this obstacle impossible. Once Braun adjusted the line by only a few inches, he had it. Major takeaway here is watch as Braun stops me right away 
at the very beginning of the obstacle to realign. The key is going to be you just kind of walk up it this way and then go back right. So that way you're trying to put the gap. You got it nice and slow though. Nice and slow. Got it. Oh no, oh no, back up. Got to grab a little more drivers. So coming, coming now, now, now couple drivers. How you start the obstacle is extremely important and will make the difference of a failed or victorious attempt. You made it easy. What yeah, the man. heck? <laughs> you, you had a bad line there. That was just super, really steep. Fired that leg. It was the line. As soon as uh, I yeah. saw like, what he was talking about, yeah. it was... Then it, all of a sudden it makes sense. Yeah. Come on, you just got to picture, look at your axle's got to go over whatever you're going to go up. So if you take the corner of that rock right there and put your right passenger tire on it, and then you start heading this way, you're just going to... Like it's gonna be pretty smooth payment if you think about it. Once you get your front tires up here, start turning right again, you're done, man. It's like, but he had the undercut ledge. That was hard, dude. That's a yeah, that's great showstopper. So yeah, that's a showstopper. That <laughs> a, uh, All right, on. I'm fulfilled. It's okay, I'm about to fill your way. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. That was inappropriate. Ready to go. <laughs> Our friends at True North Coffee gave me a lesson on how to make better coffee. Found us this awesome stainless steel French press so I don't smash it. What a trip. the food. The obstacles. The scenery. And the people. Thank you for the memories, Whipsaw 2021. Woo! Oh, man! And until next time, go away, get lost, and unwind.